Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the memory function to store and recall variables and values on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the arrow key that looks like this located here, the alpha key that looks like this located here, and the alpha memory slots indicated in red at the top right of the keys, A through Z or Z, as well as the small r and theta. First, if we just want to store a value, let's say we want to store 5 as x, what we do is put 5 on our screen, and then press the arrow key, and then choose the alpha memory slot we want to use. If we want to use x, we press alpha, so that we see the A flashing there, and then choose the X memory slot, which is this plus here. There we go, we see five into X. We press EXE, and that five has now been stored. We can also store the result of calculations. Let's say we did eight plus two, and wanted to store the result of that as Y. To do that, we press the arrow key, and then the alpha, and then choose the Y memory slot, which is down here at the subtraction key. There we go, eight plus two into Y, we press EXE, and that gives us 10 stored as Y. If we wanna recall these values, we again use the alpha function. So if we wanna bring back our X value, we press alpha X, there we go, and press EXE, and see that it gives us five. With this, we can do a calculation like x plus y. So if we go alpha x plus alpha y, hit exe, and we get 15, which is five plus 10, or x plus y. This memory function is especially helpful for working with long or complex equations. For example, Let's say we wanted to solve this right angle triangle, or this side. Well, we know with Pythagoras that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and can be rewritten as the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. If we call this side a and this side b, we can enter that into our calculator using our memory function. So we'll store 4 as a. We put our 4 on the screen hit the arrow key, and then alpha A, there's our four into A, EXE, and then three into B, so we'll place three on the screen, arrow, alpha B, there we go, three into B. Now we have our two variables, we can plug them into our equation. So if we go shift square root, there's our square root, a squared, alpha A squared, plus alpha B squared, there we go, equals 5. So the square root of A squared plus B squared equals C, and C is 5. So that's the side we're looking for. All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.